When you see brands lead their creative with a purpose, I think people realize that brands stand for something greater than just the bottom line. Mm -hmm. And that's getting, them to, getting us noticed in a slightly different way. I think the other aspect of it is like what we're doing at IBM, is we realize that technology and algorithms are built by people. Therefore, when, uh, therefore they may end up mimicking the bias that that person has. So what we're doing is really building models to evaluate the models that AI has. <laughs> so to make sure that there's no uh, bias within them and kind of constantly check the, uh, the technology we use in order to make decisions. Um, and the other piece of it is, is uh, ethics, right? And I think, it's, I think that's important is, is uh, standing for something, publicizing what you stand, and then not wavering from that stance and holding that code of ethics to everything you do. Because uh, you build up equity in that relationship every time you take a stance, but it quickly erodes if you do one thing that, that, is, that varies from it. So uh, I think those things together are, are building trust. Um, and I think that's how IBM has survived over 107 years. Right? We've actually, yesterday was our 108th birthday. Oh wow. It's pretty amazing. And think of how we change what we sell every 10 years. So we don't sell products, we're selling trust and a relationship. We help clients get from here to there. And we do that, they pick us along the way because we're not tied to any one technology. We're gonna, we're gonna help you get there and we know how to do what we've done in the past. And we are really adaptive at learning the technologies of the future and applying them to solve our clients' problems. Well, that's how I think all future, all, all businesses future-proof themselves, right? Is maintaining that trust, that transparency, having an ethical stance, and delivering that purpose to audiences. So we believe blockchain is one step forward in the transparency uh, world. If you think of just a few years ago, about 85 cents of every dollar that got made in a media buy made it through to the publisher. So those dollars are working hard for us. Now it's about 40 cents of every dollar. So more and more brands want to figure out how to use their dollars effectively to reach audiences, engage audiences, and deliver value. But the what happens in the middle that, that's taking that, that those pieces of the pie is not very transparent to us right now. There, a blockchain built with a network of partners can help deliver that. And so that's one aspect of it. The other aspect though is like there's, there's adding technology to a problem, but then there's also having the players who are, are ethical and have the right DNA in their core too to participate in the blockchain. So you have to bring the right players to the, the, the purview. You provide that, that transparency and openness and people tend to act in a way that's better for the all, the collective. Blockchain's on the, the very forefront of its adoption curve, mm -hmm. but I do believe what everyone is talking about is uh, building trust with audiences, doing it in a transparent way, and doing it in, with equality in mind. And uh, I do think that it's more than just a fad right now. There are real brands really bought in to know that uh, we need to act, we need to be equal. And actually, IBM just started this initiative uh, a couple months ago. It's called Be Equal. The little IBM, we turned the B into a B sign uh, and uh, used the equal sign in it. And it's everything we do needs to be about uh, moving that, that initiative forward, right? It can't just be about a, a campaign. It has to be about the way we work and the things we do. And I believe that's what you're seeing in the, the brands here as part of the uh, ANA and the CMO Growth Council is that A, the group of people in the room is a diverse group of people, right? Because you have to bring diversity to the room to talk about diversity and do something about it. And then B, the initiatives that we're talking, we're, we're bringing forward are not just, a, not just words, but they actually have action behind them. And I believe that's the next step in, in this initiative, this ANA CMO Growth Council now, is we, we're aligning on some, some pillars, we're aligning on our missions, and our outcomes, and now we're putting the actions into place and saying, let's go make this happen.